loved being in a band with my twin sister. We started making music in the late 90s, and by the mid 2000s, we were playing Coachella, we did Jay Leno, Letterman. Keegan and Sarah were incredibly good at building community through versioning social media. Being a fan of Tegan and Sarah was code for I'm queer. It felt absolutely our responsibility to take care of them. It was very personable with everybody. Tegan and Sarah were known as being very accessible. We messaged Tegan and we got a response. It was very exciting. Tegan added me as a friend on Facebook. I had become friends with Tegan and it had become a long-term friendship. At some point, she sent me a shared drive and a password. It felt off. So I reached out to her management and got a text that said, she has no idea who you are. And I said, well, then Tegan has a big problem. In the beginning, we thought it was just a leak of a demo. And then we realized this hacker had access to Tegan and Sarah's personal information. And this whole new, really scary universe opened up. Fake Tegan knew where we all lived. Email addresses had been hacked. They shared passport scans and knew their mom's medical history. It introduced the idea that it's someone we know coming after our friends, me and my girlfriend. That just made me question everyone around me. It was terrifying and scary. I was paranoid. The fear, of course, was the sort of physical safety. It got darker when we realized multiple fans had been catfished online and thought that they were talking to me. People came forward from all over the world saying they had been corresponding with Tegan for years. It escalated to a relationship. Yeah. Felt more sexual. It felt very real. It definitely left a mark on me. It turned my life upside down. We were extremely worried for our fans talking to this person. Then we got information that shook us again, and our worlds exploded. We started to understand how little we really knew. Fake Tegan systematically destroyed my life. We kept this story a secret for a long time. 